What's up guys? On site, snowy day here in Indiana. I'm gonna do a little tour of this house where I shot quite a bit of content uh, on some different things. Gonna take a look. It's all finished up and painted now. So walking in from the garage here, you guys will remember the Dome of Doom. That's what that looks like. It's got rope light up there above that cove. Remember the videos lifting that into place? That was pretty fun, but it turned out pretty good. Got some applied molding over there on that wall. Turned out just fine. A lot of crown in this house. Got a rope light above the ceiling. Made that video uh, last week or so about coping the uncopable crown. You can see that turned out just fine. Not much else up here that I did, so we'll go downstairs now. There was a ton of crown in this house um, and made a few different videos on crown installation. So check those out also. This was a interesting detail on this stair. Took these uh, two by two square balusters and routed this detail. Just made a quick jig on site for that. Kind of interesting. Always nice to have those little things to switch up the monotony of the otherwise normal workflow. Come over here into the Wayne's. I'm just gonna call it Wayne's because everyone's gonna crucify me for calling it the wrong thing. Got no lights in here apparently. For that. So this, I made a video on the value engineered Wayne Scott. And here we used a three quarter inch thick board and then five eighth inch thick boards here. And what that allows you to do is caulk this joint. That way it doesn't need any biscuits or anything like that. And um, that caulk joint allows for any expansion and contraction and it's gonna hold up really well. It's very, very fast to produce this Wayne Scott. Um, three quarter inch thick, five eighths thick, and then three quarter inch thick down the bottom. So in the video that I made about uh, installing this, you kind of obsess about the layout at the time, but in reality, once it's got paint on it, it looks just fine and no one really even pays much attention to the style layout. So uh, around these windows turned out just fine and I'm happy with how everything came together. One thing I do, one thing I do want to mention, um, got quite a few comments about the height of this Wayne Scott. And a lot of times we do a 60 inch Wayne Scott, and that looks pretty good, I feel like, but this was higher than that. Let me turn around here. This is higher than 60. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it was a request by the homeowner to be this tall um, so that it would match up with a headboard for a bunk bed. So it is what it is. Customer um, determines what they get in their house, and that's just fine. But for those of you who are wondering why it is the height that it is. Uh, it was to match a headboard. Had a column out here, pretty easy. And then here is the bunk bedroom. 
so. Turned out pretty good also. They're gonna put some kind of drapery across uh, that rod. That's what those are for. You've got shelves in that little niche in the back. Outlet. So everything turned out pretty good. Not perfect. Whenever I installed this, I thought these treads were gonna be stained. They were maple, but apparently they decided to paint those Take a quick look at this applied molding. This is just a drywall backer with uh, kind of like a base cap profile, but it's, it's decently beefy. Just applied to the wall, Brad Nails and PL Premium. So that painted up nice. So if you remember, I did the videos, three videos on installing this dome and it's essentially plaster and I cut out the ceiling and lifted it up with a um, winch, a drill powered winch. So that went really well and it painted up really nice too. So there's that. Another interesting detail. I'm sure this has a uh, sentimental value of some kind, but put an LED light uh, inside this channel. That's an exterior window. Then I put the uh, stained glass in here. Uh, so some of you might remember in my Instagram stories, I had installed this and I installed it upside down. So I had to come back, take the stops off, flip it over, and redo it so that was a good time so hope you guys enjoyed the uh, little tour this wasn't you know anything real crazy but i did happen to shoot a lot of content on this house we did crown molding installation um, bunk beds value engineered wayne scott so all those videos on my channel were from this house um, but it turned out good great homeowners and hope they enjoy their home.